It's the snowing. Silver Steeler here. Another coin down by the snowy river. And it is snowing. Been doing that a lot lately. So another polar bear. Another one and a half ounce one from the Royal Canadian Mint. A 2015 polar bear and its cub. So yeah, I've been picking up a few of these one and a half ounce rounds, all from the Royal Canadian Mint, a couple of polar bear ones, and I think the snowy owl one. I like them, a different kind of weight, not normally found by me anyway. I don't see a lot of them out there also, so it's a different kind of weight that you normally don't see, like the one, the two ounce, the five ounce but they have the one and a half ounce rounds. I think that's the whole reason why I started picking them up that no winter was coming, knowing I'd probably go down by the river while it was snowing. Yeah, like I'm doing right now. Here's the queen. And most of the time, like I've said in all my other videos, I would usually have these out of the flips, but I don't want it to get wet. I'm trying my best not to get them wet right now because Snow's hitting me. If it milks spots, I guess then, you know, is what it is. It's from the Royal Canadian Mint. And these are from a time where they were milk spotting. This one is milk spotted free for now. Let's hope it stays that way in the future. Pretty cool design. It's getting cold. Very peaceful out here. All right, everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next snowy day. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. I'm going to start a new little series, Coin Down by the River. This gives me a different backdrop, a little bit more peaceful. So anyway, this is the first of that little series here, and that is the 2017 South Korean Chuwu. It is done by the Comsco Mint. Limited mintage on these of 50,000. And uh, this is the second in that series. I've been looking at the 2016. It's around 100 bucks. A lot of money for that first one no surprise there sort of missed out on that one but uh, I may track it down who knows I'll have to talk to winning image and see if that's possible but I think now that we have three of the four we're probably gonna have to chase it down anyway like I said limited mid mintage of 50,000 for these um, love the front of it of course the reverse here has the same for all the pieces so let's take a look at the obverse again here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Winning Image loves her horses. That's a pretty cool looking one on there. Love the detail of these. These seem to hold their premium quite well. Like I said, for only the second series, this one here ran me 40 bucks. So I guess it will be nice if I got the first one. Therefore, I'm not chasing them down anymore, and I'll just stay up on top of it now whenever the new one comes out. Definitely a lot easier to do that way, and you won't be paying the premium like I did on this. Beautiful coin, one ounce. Silver. Wasn't that beautiful out here? Like I said, I'm planning on doing a little bit more shooting out here. I'll just take another look at the uh, reverse here. Yeah. I like the Chews. All four of them look pretty cool. I don't have the 2016 yet, but uh, it's coming. Anyway, remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.
Silver Steeler here. Time for another coin down by the Snowy River. Silver Steeler here. Another snowy day down by the river. That means it's time for another coin. And why not another Canadian coin since it's cold in Canada? Been seeing this commercial on the TV like crazy for these snow owls. You know, the one where you invest something like $5,000 in and you get one and a half ounce silver round for doing it. Uh, okay, yeah. Anyway, no, I didn't bite on the deal. Instead, I went out and found the round that they're talking about because I really like the design. And I wanted one. So now I've got a one and a half ounce snowy owl, a 2016 from the Canadian Royal Mint. Features, of course, the queen on the obverse. It's considered an $8 coin. Pretty cool. I like it. This is still at a time where they were prone to milk spotting. This one right now doesn't have any. And since it's snowing, it stays in the flip for now. Otherwise, I'd have it out. Don't have a holder for this one yet, so I really don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't have a lot of one and a half ounce rounds, but I'm starting to pick a few up as you've seen in some of my videos. Sort of a different weight that I normally don't collect. I don't know really of a lot of them out there, but every day just watching TV, seeing that Lear Capital commercial for these snowy owls, I just wanted one. You know how it is when you collect silver. You see something on TV or whatever and you see the price they're charging for it, and you're like, ah, I could go out and get that much cheaper. So I did. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's really coming down right now. Whew. Some of that landed on me. Pretty cool out here. Another different area to take a coin out in a different time of the year. Snow and cold don't bother me, or I wouldn't have lived in this state for as long as I have. But I really like that snowy owl. I like the fact that its wings are in a downward motion. Different, because most of the time you see it the other way. And it's got the little privy mark on there. The 2016 one and a half ounce round from the Canadian Royal Mint down by the Snowy River. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video. Time for some chew. Silver Steeler here. Uh, here I've got the 2019 South Korean Chuwu. It's been out for a while. I've seen a lot of videos. I got mine a little bit late. So I thought, why not take it down by the river? Always like the way these coins look in the natural light. And this is the reverse. Took me a while to get that. I always thought this was the obverse, but it is not. This is the reverse. They have plans to make 33,300 is what I last saw regarding the mintage amounts, well, planned mintage amounts. And I've got the 2017, the 2018, and now, of course, the 2019. I still need that first year issue, the 2016 going for around a hundred bucks right now so for now I wait maybe I can pick that one up on eBay a little cheaper but picking these up right when they come out is definitely and usually the cheapest way to go and here's the obverse um, that would be the shield that their soldiers use eh, all four versions have this side, same design on the obverse. Of course, it's got a little security detail on the bottom there. Sort of like their little watermark or security mark. 
Yeah, not my favorite one of the four so far. I think I like the one on the horse better. I think that's the 2018. And I don't really have the 2016 of you. I've seen pictures of it. It does look pretty good too. So I have to hold one in hand first to really make my determination on which one I like the best. This isn't bad. Anyway, remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.